wonderful to receive your flowers before you're damn dead. Yeah. From the community you serve, I, along with Fox 26's Jonathan Martin, took a break from the newsroom for a special soiree. We were both honored by the Houston Museum of African American Culture. Both John Guesses at the museum had a role in that with Davina Reed. The event called Champagne and Ribs. It was hosted by Grammy Award-winning producer Brian Michael Cox, who joins us here now on the Factor Uncensored. Yeah. yeah. I always try to make people understand and see the impact that you have had for those who are not just like googling <laughs> on Wikipedia but let's talk about your career okay hits for Mariah Carey yes hits for Usher yes hits for Mary J Blige yes Tony Braxton yes and not only just hits you write and you produce <laughs> and many of the words that people emulate and sing to you have done that. Yes, yes. It's been an amazing journey, man. You know what I mean? And I'm, and I'm just happy to be, you know, hometown kid, you know what I mean? Going off and doing doing great things and being able to come back home and give back the way, you know, I've always been able to do. It's been a great now, thing. Now, I looked at a report I did with you maybe eight or nine years ago. Yes. And the Grammy count was like seven or eight then. Yeah. Has it gone up more? One. We got, we got nine there now. You go. We have there nine. You go. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. And, and to have nine Grammys on your shelf, yeah, what is that like? Um, it's amazing, man. I mean, at the end of the day, though, you know, for me, it's 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 just more fuel for me to get conquer the next thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, what's next? You know, I never really live in that space of like, oh, I got nine Grammys. I'm, you know what I mean? Um, I'm always trying to figure out the next adventure, figure out the next challenge. Um, and it's been an amazing journey, man. So I, I'm, I'm always looking for what's happening next. And what's the next journey or the next road that you take for Brian Michael Cox? We know about the music. Yes. Is there anything else that we're missing? Well, what's amazing is that I'm, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of different things. I've been, of course, continuing in the music. Uh, we're finishing up a new Usher album. Usher, of course, is on tour. He's, I'm on tour. He's in Vegas doing his residency. So we've been working with that. I have a party that I do called Ladies Love R&B. Uh, with my partner Keith Thomas that we do in Vegas with Usher on the weekends and that has kind of grown into this whole you know big thing um, so we've been to Dubai we've been to West Palm Beach with him we've done a lot of things um, um, in regards to that um, naturally I'm actually taking on a new job um, at the top of the year as a co uh, as senior VP of A&R at um, Love Renaissance Records and oh, under those wow, uh, wow. Uh, the summer walk. And so, what would that role entail for you? Um, well, I, it, it would bring my production expertise to the forefront, and also my executive eye to the forefront. Um, I'm thankful for Justice Baden and the whole LVRN team. Um, and we start top of the year, and I'm super excited about that. And uh, you know, working with the artists and getting that thing off the ground, um, and just you know, I'm st I'm I'm still DJing, I'm still writing, I'm still doing the things I love to do. It's really really amazing. Now, DJ seems fun to you. It's, uh, it's amazing. When I watch you on social media, Instagram, you seem to be having fun have with a ball, that. Oh, I say, have a ball, love it. Um, as a person who loves music, um, it's. That's like a release for me. DJing is a is a is is a way that I can express myself in a in a different way of me playing piano, writing songs. DJing is a way that I can literally kind of like expose the records that I love. Mm -hmm. That I you know, yeah, I love music. I don't have to make every song that I love. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, you know what I mean? Um, so it's it's an amazing process, and it also is a a good thing for me as a songwriter to get inspired. Mm -hmm. You know. And what's next as far as your fans? How can they follow you? How can they track you? How can they stalk you? You can do all that. I'm getting that. I got stalkers too. You catch me at uh, everything's at Brian Michael Cox, B R Y N M I C H A E L C O X. That's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's Twitter. Um, and you can catch me, you know, in Atlanta every Wednesday at Ladies of R&B at Red Martini. You can catch me here, you know, we, 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 we I'm always home, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm everywhere, you can catch me in Los Angeles every month for Love Zone, like I, I, I'm 
literally, <laughs> literally, I'm everywhere. I'm working harder than I've ever worked in my life right now. But it feels amazing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like work. It feels fun. I feel, I feel like the very beginning of my career again, and it feels like I'm, 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 I'm on this incredible journey. That is great, Brian Michael Cox, and say hello to your evil right hand man, Sean Stovall. Sean Stovall's in the building. I want to say what's up to my mom. So my mom is my, my mom is somewhere watching my mom and my aunties and all them. My son is here for the holidays. They're probably up watching somewhere, so I want to say what's up to them too. All right, sir. Thank you for joining us here on the Factor on Censor. Appreciate you. Always good to see you. Always. We'll be back.